you've ever wanted to build a model aeroplane, then you've clicked on the right video because today we're going to be building the wing of this Measuresmith 109. This is one of our kits. We're not going to be doing a full build tutorial on it, but I just wanted to show you the basics, the main principles behind balsa wood construction, if you like. <laughs> The first thing to do is obviously to set up your workstation and to get everything organised. Unrolling the plan will reveal the tissue paper which you'll use later on to cover your model. We will have a dedicated video showing you exactly how to set up your plan and your workstation and to get all of your tools ready and everything, but for now we're just going to focus on showing you what the build process looks like for building a balsa wood wing. As well as the plan, there's also a sheet which shows you what the numbers of the parts are so you can reference that, cut out each part and then stick it onto your model. The instructional booklet included in the kit will show you each piece that you need to cut out and which order to lay them down on the plan. So with this one you're starting out with the W pieces which are several components used to create the frame of the wing and then you'll cut out the R pieces which are the ribs of the wing which create that nice airfoil shape. Pins can be used to fix each component in place. This is a tried and tested method of building balsa wood planes. This is exactly how people have been doing it since the 1930s. Pins are placed either side of each component to keep it in place and secure on the plan. The next thing to do is to start adding glue to the ribs of your wing. Helpfully, the glue is included in this kit as well as many of our other vintage model company kits. So you don't have to worry about finding the right kind of glue or anything like that, which is rather nice. As you might imagine, with a fly model you want to make it as light as possible and glue can add a lot of weight. A scrap of balsa or a special scraper can be used to remove excess glue. It's amazing what a difference it can actually make. An angled piece is used to set the dihedral angle. Dihedral is the inclination of an aircraft's wings relative to the fuselage. Having this angle is important for stability in a free flight model aircraft. Test fitting your components is always a good idea before adding some glue. A stiff square strip forms the upper spar. It's glued in place much like the other components and really adds a ton of strength to this wing. Corner gussets are glued in place to add even more strength and to make sure that the wing remains nice and square. After around 30 to 40 minutes of building time and a good 10 minutes of drying time, the wing can be removed from the plan. Right, thanks for watching this episode, the first one in this series. Next time we're going to be building a fuselage of the 109. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks very much for watching and we will see you next time.